Welcome to the SAFE Network. In this video, we're going to run through how to get started with the software and hopefully answer a few of the questions that you might have. After this video, if you have any further questions, just head along to the SAFE Network forum. There you'll find an active and welcoming community who will help you out. So let's get started. As the network is currently on the Alpha 2 release, the first thing you need to do, and this is important, is register and gain basic trust level status on the SAFE Network Forum. This is a temporary measure, but it's essential at this stage as it acts as a form of spam protection, preventing someone creating thousands of accounts and attacking the network whilst it's still in Alpha. This restriction will be lifted before the full network goes live. To get basic trust level status, what you need to do is create an account on the forum, open 30 topics, and read at least 180 posts. To summarize, in total, what you need is to spend at least one hour reading and interacting. And once you have your basic trust level, you need to visit safenetwork.tech where you'll see the option of downloading the Safe Browser. This is the first step in getting access to the Alpha Network. The browser contains something called the Authenticator, and this is a key piece of software. It acts as a gateway to the network, and it controls how safe applications will interact with your network data in the future. When you click on the Download Safe Browser button, you'll start downloading the recommended version directly from GitHub. Open the file manager on your computer and select the Safe Browser application file. Everyone who accesses the SAFE network needs to have an account, so click on Create Account at the bottom of the screen. This will then take you through to a screen where you need to select the Claim an Invitation option. This is because the system is currently configured to give each forum account the ability to claim one invitation to access the Alpha network. There are a couple of things to note here. First off, the software needs to check that you are a user who's achieved basic trust level on the forum. Therefore, you need to ensure that you are logged into the forum in the same browser. If you are, you'll go straight through to a screen that asks you to choose the Alpha 2 testnet. But if you're not logged into the forum in the same browser, then you'll be taken through to the forum first, where you'll be asked to log in. Once this screen appears, the system sees that you're logged into the forum and you should now select the Alpha 2 network. At this stage, you're given your invitation code. Please note, it is important that your current and registered IP addresses match. If they do not, simply click to update. Now, copy your invite token at the bottom of the screen and paste this back into the field that asks for an invitation token in the Safe Browser. You'll now be asked to create an account secret and password. Please make sure that you save these securely, as only you will ever have access to your credentials. There is no central record of these credentials anywhere within the system, and without them, you'll not be able to access your data. This is a big deal. Without anyone's knowledge or permission, you've just anonymously and securely created credentials to join a network without servers, a world in which you have complete control of your own data. Congratulations! You're now ready to browse the SAFE network, upload your own website, or download some of the demo apps being worked on by the community. Welcome to the SAFE network.